Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Excuse my parents. I just got out, off work and out of the shower. So my hair's wet. I'm, you know, trying to cool down. It was hot today. It was really hot. I just got, got home from work and grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so I got a notification to say, oh God, look at me, to say that there was something in my mailbox. So I went running down to my post office box and lo and behold, there's a package. And it's from Joyce again. <laughs> Joyce, I th you already gave me that wonderful book. You didn't have to give me anything else like that. You didn't even have to give me the book. And I, but I appreciate it so much. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so this was a real surprise. <laughs> So it's squishy. So I'm going to open this. I'll open it off camera because it's going to take me a minute because I don't want to cut anything that I shouldn't be cutting. Uh, so give me one second. Okay, I opened it. So let's feel around for some, a card or something. Aha! Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. For those of you that don't know, I you know what? I don't even think I've really talked about it on my channel. But I used to paint. I used to do acrylic pours. Hmm. Maybe one day I'll show them to you. I've got a whole bunch of them. Maybe I'll put them up for sale. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Joyce. Ooh, what be this? No way. Oh, I just dropped my glasses. Oh, Joyce, you spoil me. Oh, you guys. <sighs> As I've been saying on, I say it all the time on my channel. Because I'm in Canada, I can't go to Hobby Lobby. And one of my favorite yarns from Hobby Lobby is I love this yarn <clears throat> and there's I love these, this yarn ombre <clears throat> I love this yarn Heather, heathered for, didn't we just go through this on another video <laughs> I love this yarn Prince um, <sighs> you guys <sighs> She got me two bags of I Love This Yarn. I am so blessed. I have the best, best friends. I mean, seriously. This is I Love This Yarn. Obviously. Look at that color. It's darker than that. But, you know, I say that all the time. Every time I show a yarn, I always say, oh, it's darker than that. But then I go to edit the video and it actually looks like the color that it's supposed to be. So <laughs> um, this one is called Brights. Uh, it's it's a four weight. It's 100% acrylic. There's 196 yards, 180 meters. And she gave me six of them. <clears throat> Th 
thank you so much, Joyce. You, you spoil me. You really do. Oh my God. Oh gosh. This is gorgeous. This is so pretty. I think this one's the same, isn't it? I love this yarn. Brights. Yeah. So I know that six of these mixed with a solid color will make a beautiful cardigan. Um, the cardigan that I'm working on right now, where I have the solid blue, the dark, solid dark blue, and then the <clears throat> variegated color, um, something like that would look fantastic. And then you use this as the accent color um, with a different stitch, right? Like if you do a bobble stitch or a cross, a cross double crochet stitch or a drop stitch or a, you know, whatever it might be, um, that this will pop, especially if you use it with like a black or a darker version of whatever colors are in your yarn. Like I could do that with the dark blue. I could do that with a dark pink. Um, I could even do that with a burgundy. Oh, oh. like a burgundy, like this is of course darker, but if you do those kind of, those two colors together, this will pop big time. Ooh, now you got me thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm starting to get into sweater mode now. Well, I'm always in sweater mode, but, um, now I'm really starting to gear up and get into sweater mode and scooty mode. Oh, this would make a great scooty too. Hmm. Um, yeah. So I use a lot of these kind of, of yarns. Um, we don't have a lot of, like we've got Michaels and we have the Michaels brand, Hmm. which I don't have any right here. You know, the Michaels Craft Smart um, in variegated or, um, I don't really, they have an ombre, but it's not a, yeah, it's not like an ombre. But, um, so those ones are the, both the only ones that we have that are durable enough for a sweater that, you know, I could use and know that it, you're going to get a decent sweater out of it with a but not without a bunch of holes in it and everything. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, so the, I love this yarn and the, like any kind of prints like, or heathered looks or, um, like the jean look like, Oh, well, I used to have them right here. Um, like this, this kind of a look. Oh, where is it? You see how it's got speckling in it? Like that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Um, cause it really makes a sweater look beautiful. So yeah. So this is going to come in very handy, very handy. Thank you so much, Joyce. Um, that, you know, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go and put my thinking cap on and I'm going to, I'm, I'm working on that one sweater right now. I'm almost done the paneling. So, uh, then I can start working on something else. <laughs> So, okay, guys, I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.